Hey there guys and welcome to a new series for the Bioneer, Humanly Possible. I'll be focusing on the coolest feats, powers and skills from fiction to see if anything like them is remotely humanly possible. And to begin with, I'll be looking at the bullet foo or gun cutter seen in movies like John Wick, The Matrix, Equilibrium and anything directed by John Woo, not to mention games like Max Payne and My Friend Pedro. Martial arts movies have been accused of being redundant. What good is it to be a top class living weapon when someone can just pull a gun on you? Of course, a gunfight is typically far shorter and less balletic than your average kung fu throwdown, and thus less cinematic. Therefore, Gun Fu was born, highly stylized gunplay that turns shooting people into a beautiful choreographed dance, because why not? So, is it humanly possible? Can you really dodge a bullet? Is kung fu any use against a gun? Or can you at least take on a squad of henchmen in cool style with any chance of success? Let's start with dodging bullets. The short answer here is no, you cannot dodge a bullet. This is physically impossible due to a number of different factors, not least the fact that it takes too long for the signals to travel through your nervous system. The very fastest nerve impulse travels at roughly 250 miles an hour, though this depends on the type of nerve, and the time it takes for a signal to travel from your brain to your hand is about 0.3 seconds. This isn't even counting the amount of time it takes for visual information to travel from the eye to the brain so that you know you need to dodge in the first place. This takes about 13 milliseconds. Then you need to actually process all that and decide what you're going to do, which direction you're going to dodge in for instance. What's more is that this information is actually delayed for the same amount of time it takes for the brain to receive the last input from the body, normally the proprioceptors of the foot. In other words, all information waits so that it can come in at the same time and all appears to be in sync. This is so that, for example, when you tap your foot, you see it at the same time as you feel it, as Michael from Vsauce explains in an excellent video. That also means unfortunately that taller people have slightly slower reaction times, and it means that we all live very slightly in the past, everything you see and hear has already happened. Now consider that a typical handgun fires at 2,500 feet per second, thus in 0.3 seconds it has travelled 750 feet. In other words, you're not dodging it. It should come as no surprise then to learn that there's no such thing as real life gun catter. There are martial arts designed around fighting with guns, using them as blunt instruments for instance, but as far as a real life gun catter or gun foo is concerned, nope, doesn't exist. So someone pulls a gun to your head and you're dead, right? Well not quite. In a fascinating experiment, two participants of equal skill are faced opposite one another. One has a handgun, one does not. The unarmed subject is instructed to stand with their hands up and to attempt to disarm their opponent as soon as they see an opportunity. The gunman meanwhile is instructed to fire as soon as they see the other person move. Now you'd think that in this situation, the unarmed participant would lose every time. However, almost the exact opposite is true. In nearly every case, the gun-toting operator loses. Keep in mind that this experiment was not published in a peer-reviewed journal, but was conducted at the Suarez International Training Facility as reported in Black Belt magazine, so take it with a pinch of salt. But that said, there's actually a good explanation for what may be going on here. We cannot dodge bullets due to limitations in the processing speed of the human brain, but that is also the limitation we can use against our opponents. Why? Because if someone is pointing a gun at you and hasn't already fired, then they're likely waiting for you to do something, maybe hand over your cash or plea for your life. Now that means you can plan ahead, you know what you're going to do next, whereas they have to react to that thing. Visualize a plan of attack first and you might just be able to pull it off. This is due to something called the OODA loop. First outlined by military strategist Colonel John Boyd, this acronym stands for Observe, Orient, Decide and Act and describes the stages that we need to go through when engaging in any action. These four stages are each estimated to take at least one quarter of a second. By pre-planning, you can essentially therefore gain a small advantage over your opponent. This is called getting inside the OODA loop. A similar trick I learned in karate is to use a form of distraction by talking and then attacking mid-sentence. The human brain is naturally programmed to wait for the end of a sentence, and task switching in this interrupted manner takes even more time and processing. They're still waiting for you to finish talking, and you've just hit them square in the face. This is an example of breaking an adversary's OODA loop through chaos and uncertainty. 
The more chaos and confusion you can cause, the harder it will be for your opponent to adapt and respond. There are other ways you can get inside an opponent's OODA loop too. One is to identify potential threats and orient yourself correctly before an encounter. This can of course be improved by developing better situational awareness. Remaining undetected for as long as possible is also a powerful strategy. So while you can't outmaneuver a gun, you might just be able to use psychology to your advantage. Of course your own psychology must also be, for lack of a better word, bulletproof. You must be good at making snap decisions under extreme pressure and remaining calmly aware of your surroundings at all times. Noise complain. Apparently the best performing marines and athletes are those that produce greater amounts of neuropeptide Y and DHEA when in stressful situations. This allows them to maintain a metronomic heart rate, so they're calm. We can improve our own ability to remain calm and alert by using breathing techniques such as the fourfold breath. Also taught to military personnel. A moment's hesitation and you're dead. And this is something that is conveyed really well in John Wick. He is extremely efficient with every movement and his unflinching expression is a testament to how calm he is through even the most intense firefight. That's some pretty good casting there. So is gun Fu realistic then? No, not at all, and I highly recommend that if someone ever pulls a gun on you, you do exactly what they ask and then you get out of there. All it takes is for them to have a knee-jerk reaction to pull that trigger and it's game over. But perhaps with the right psychology, strategy, steely determination and decades of training, an assassin like John Wick could ever so slightly tip the scales to their advantage in a gunfight. And that's still pretty cool. And we can all benefit from situational awareness and understanding the OODA loop to apply in other aspects of our lives. We can all learn something from John Wick. So thanks a ton for watching guys, I hope you found this video useful and interesting. If you did then please leave a like, share it around, that helps me out immensely. Thanks a ton to commenter Captain Ralph for suggesting this video on John Wick, which also led to the whole idea for this Humanly Possible series. If you have any other suggestions for topics for me to cover in this series, then please do let me know. And of course, subscribe if you want to see that, as well as much more. Next week, I'm going to be covering neck training, and I've got lots of cool, interesting stuff on the way. If you really enjoy the content on this channel, then check out the link below, which will take you to the pre-order page for my ebook, Super Functional Training. The general concept behind this is a training program that's not only for building muscle, but also for brain training, for improving focus, concentration, creativity, quick thinking, as well as pretty much every other aspect of your performance, such as mobility, balance, etc. Essentially, I don't know why exercise for most people means just training your biceps and your abs. And if you agree, then check out the book. I think you'll find it really interesting. If you pre-order now, you'll save $10 off the eventual price as well as gaining some extra materials. And the release date is November the 4th, so not too far away now. Anyways, thanks a ton for watching this, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.